Don't expect a Motorola Razr to be a flagship phone. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Wilson Gao. This is Mr. GWS Gadgets for Searching. Today, I find it kind of very interesting article at the XDA with developers. Uh, should I say post regarding the new Motorola Razr smartphone and don't expect this Razr smartphone to be a flagship phone since yes you guessed it it uses Snapdragon 710 I know even though it's not Snapdragon 855 or maybe 845 but you know the design is kind of potential like a foldable phone back they are back in the Razr phone days a lot of Motorola smartphones around it, if you can guess which one. There's quite a lot of foldables back in the 90s or the 2000s. And let's check about the specs. Rather than the Snapdragon 855, it uses Snapdragon 710. Even though a lot of people might be disappointed that it's not flagship phone. Even though the price will be a flagship price. And of course, it will use a Quick Charge 4 Plus and it will support the Motorola's own 27 watt turbo power and of course RAM and storage wise it will use 4 or 6 gigs of RAM and 64 or 120 gigs of storage which is pretty capable for upper mid-range smartphones and of course the battery is 27 30mAh you know a lot of people might say it's kind of small yeah, and you know to me I kind of agree it's kind of small but you know, it's a photo smartphone, don't expect too much, okay? But the primary display is called Voyager. It's a 6.20 inch, you know, which stretched out in 876 and by 2042 resolution. Most likely the OLED panel, since it's a foldable display, don't expect to be a LCD display. When close up, it will be a small secondary display, which, which is, you know, the resolution is kind of small. 600 by 800 resolution according to the article um, a lot of people might not know how the dimension look like but you know from what i know that it will be available in white black and gold of course according to the photos it will look like you know at least it will have a fingerprint scanner and of course it will at least have a one camera which is on the rear of course you know i would say the price is still way cheaper than the Galaxy 4 or the Huawei Mate X which these two is hugely expensive. The Motorola Razr expect to cost around $1,500. So from the way I see, it's kind of interesting whether this new design will be selling well, will be you know, much better than the other two and of course the redesigned Razr will be very interesting to see how great would be like in real life so that's about it if you like this video you know where to go follow my socials and thanks for watching